Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Getting a letter from the IRS that you owe back taxes can be scary, but it doesn't have to be. Call Go Tax Resolution in Lafayette at 337-420-1040 today. We'll help stop garnishments, levies, and seizures immediately. With over 35 years of dealing directly with the IRS, our team of local professionals will help you pay the least amount possible. So if you owe back taxes to the IRS, you need help. Call the tax professionals at Go Tax Resolution in Lafayette at 337-420-1040. Your go-to tax relief. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hi. For many years I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently, I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. week's edition of the Roger Kador Show. Clarence Bugs, along with the coach at Scoreboards, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Baton Rouge's newest sports grill. Coach, we start this week talking about the LSU basketball Tigers. Went on the road again uh, to Georgia, bagged another SEC win against a very pesky Bulldog team. Coach Will Wade has his team clicking on all cylinders, doesn't he? I would say he does, but, you know, the key is he's got to keep them focused. Yeah. To win in the SEC and dethrone Kentucky, mm -hmm. it's going to be a monumental task. And then Tennessee, who is playing extremely well, which they have to meet by the weekend. Right. How contagious is winning for a team as young as this one is, Coach? Winning is always contagious. I can't find a person that exists who say, winning is bad. Right. Winning is healthy. <laughs> right. So from a coaching standpoint, what's tougher? running up a winning streak like the Tigers are on right now, especially on the road, or getting back on track after suffering a loss that brings a winning streak to an end? Which one is tougher from a coaching standpoint? They all have their uh, issues. Mm -hmm. You know, finding ways to keep kids motivated to win a loss, trying to find ways to get them to get out of the losing column, right. also have this issue. So it's never one over the other. You have to just try to find a happy medium right. that the kids can be happy with and play their very best. How much does the, the individual members of the team's personalities play into all of this? Well, kids are different today. I don't think they give a hell of being about a loss <laughs> right. the way they used to. Right. Kids would cry. These guys are ready to move on uh -huh. to the next issue. So it's a different world we live in with our student athletes and you better adjust to it mm -hmm. or you're going to have issues. How worried, if at all, should we be that uh, as young as the team is, at some point they start believing their own press clippings and, and get upset uh, by a team like Florida if they mess around and overlook them in favor of this huge matchup against Tennessee on Saturday? It wouldn't really mean too much, Clarence. Mm -hmm. They will work up in the east, the sun will still rise in the east and it was still set in the West. Mm -hmm. Remember, you have to understand the people you're dealing with. Right. This is a different generation of student athletes, and you better not harp too much on losing when you deal with them. You better try and find something positive that they did in the loss. Right. 
And of course, now in, in basketball, as is the case in baseball as well, you got a lot more wiggle room when it comes to a loss, say, as opposed to a sport like football, right? I agree. So losses in basketball and baseball will not derail you as much as it would in football. So mm -hmm. they'll be okay, even though you want to win them all. But it's still, winning all of them doesn't mean a whole lot when it comes to the end. You have to play every game now going forward right. as your very best game. Understanding that there is a little more wiggle room when you're talking about basketball versus um, football, what were some of the things you used to look for that said that your team might be overlooking another team in favor of this huge, highly anticipated showdown. Were there some signals that kind of gave away the kids were starting to believe their own press of sorts? Well, when they start feeling, smelling themselves, as the old folks right, would say. Right, right. Well, not everybody. Right. They start smelling themselves. Uh -huh. And when they start smelling themselves and think that they're better than sliced bread or baked cookies, right. then you really have a problem uh -huh. trying to de-escalate that type of thinking because every game is a challenge mm -hmm. going forward. Yeah. When you have a team that's uh, this proficient on the road, conventional wisdom says that you should be pretty good at home. If you mess around and stumble out there on the road, how worried do you get that when you come back home, you're going to have to fight to get out of that kind of groove. I, I wouldn't worry too much about this team because now we're trying to interject something we don't know about. Right, our, right. I was thinking into it. Mm -hmm. The key is the coaching staff have to be able to put a game plan in place that these kids can go out and execute and be successful with. What would wins over Florida and Tennessee do for basketball in Baton Rouge, Coach? It would mean LSU is in first place mm -hmm. in the SEC. But more than anything, it would say that maybe this team has a rise and in terms of winning an SEC championship mm -hmm. with more good things to be accomplished as they go down the road. Well, the good thing is, hopefully, good Lord willing, we will be along for the ride and we'll see where it goes. When we come back, segment two of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show. Stay close. Hi, for many years I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently, I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to imagine your parks, and you imagined big. Twelve beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. My name is Dr. Ashley Blanche, chiropractic physician at Momentum Chiropractic and Sports Rehab. We are here to get you better faster if you suffer from any type of injury ranging from sprain and strain injuries to nerve pain. If you have an injury and you have a question about it or want us to evaluate you, please give us a call at 225-218-6126 or you can visit our website mymomentumcare.com for more information about our services. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. 
We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep, beep. Welcome back for segment two of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show. <clears throat> Coach, college baseball in Baton Rouge well underway now. Tigers, Jaguars following the BRCC Bears, Baton Rouge Community College Bears, who started play almost a month ago. Our Tigers have a huge bullseye on their back, depending on what poll you subscribe to, preseason number one or two uh, in the entire nation. Of course, now, some would say that's a lot of pressure on a team. But others would say, hey, man, if you're good enough to play for LSU, you kind of expect it to be that way. Agree or disagree? Well, I agree. Once you come to the uh, best program in the whole United States, mm -hmm. you are expected to deliver. Right. Or if you don't, go somewhere else. Right. <laughs> now, understanding that though you still have to play the games and you still have to win, what do expectations like that do to the mindset of a young person playing baseball? Well, those kind of kids that LSU recruits are already coming out of program where they are accustomed to right. winning. Uh -huh. And the expectation is extremely high. Yeah. So I don't think it's that difficult mm -hmm. for them coming in there because they've already experienced it before. Something that really caught my eye early on, and I can't remember seeing this in recent memory, Coach Maneri this year has two black kids pitching for LSU, something that you don't see a whole lot in major college baseball. For those who don't know, why aren't there all that many African-American kids playing baseball in major college programs, especially pitchers? Well, two things exist. You don't have a full scholarship, mm -hmm. and a lot of kids aren't able to pay that money, that 20, the 75 percent that the 25 percent paid. Right. The other thing that if the kids are good enough, mm -hmm. they usually sign a professional contract. Right. So those are the two things that I think exist. So when, if ever, are we going to start this push? And Major League Baseball, uh, to their credit, for a number of years had a real, real interesting program. Uh, when are we going to see this resurgence of baseball in the African-American community? Or have we said goodbye to that for a while? Well, not yet goodbye, because mm -hmm. goodbye means you're never coming back. Right. Well, right. I just think it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. When I was on the diversity committee with uh, Commissioner Bud Selig, right. it's going to take a while. Mm -hmm. We understood that it was a process, and it was a 10, 15, 20-year 25-year process right. for this to happen. One thing about Major League Baseball and professional baseball is that it's long-term. Right. It's not an immediate gratification. Mm -hmm. So it takes a long time. And the one thing that they were, they knew that if we could get the parents to take their kids out of that dangerous sport of football right. to play baseball, it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. As we get more and more concussion, the parents going to say, I don't want my kid playing football. Right. Let him play baseball. When you look at uh, the fact that baseball is often categorized as the thinking man's sport, what are we missing out on in the African com African American community by not steering more of our kids to the game of baseball? The quick money that football <laughs> provides. Yeah. Quick dollars, Benjamin, mm -hmm. which is so dangerous to think that way. I just think it's short-term and dangerous mm -hmm. to think about short, quick money. Meanwhile, over across town, Jaguars off to a good start, beating Florida A&M, Grambling, and Alcorn in one weekend at the Andre Dawson Classic before dropping their first game of the year to Air Force. Well, I thought they started off very well, and mm -hmm. Coach Kerry Jackson needs to be commended for uh, that effort. And now he's just got to make sure everything moves forward with the kids staying focused mm -hmm. and understanding this one game at a time. Yep, and the Jaguar Nation coming out and supporting them like they did when you were the skipper there. Is there anything, Coach, in particular you miss about the season starting? The smell of the fresh cut grass and your allergies acting up because of it. The, the pressure of dealing with parents with unrealistic expectations of their kids. Is there anything that you really miss about being down there on the field now that another season is starting up? 
Can I say the word? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I don't miss it. I don't know if you can say it, but you just I did. I just said it, Alan. <laughs> forgive me. I don't think hell is a curse word, but I don't. Hell no, I don't miss it. <laughs> well, in case you were wondering how he really felt about it, now you know. When we come I'm back, sorry. segment three of the Roger Cador Show. Stay with us. Oh, my. <laughs> Getting a letter from the IRS that you owe back taxes can be scary, but it doesn't have to be. Call Go Tax Resolution in Mandeville at 985-722-1040 today. We'll help stop garnishments, levies, and seizures immediately. With over fears of dealing directly with the IRS, our team of local professionals will help you pay the least amount possible. So if you owe back taxes to the IRS, you need help. Call the tax professionals at Go Tax Resolution in Mandeville at 985-722-1040. Your go-to tax relief. Hi, for many years I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently, I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong in homegrown Gatton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep. It was nearly a decade ago that Breck teamed up to imagine your parks, and you imagined big. Twelve beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. Welcome back for segment three of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show. Coming to you from Scoreboards Sports Grill at 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Baton Rouge's newest sports grill. Point of clarification, Coach, there is one thing that you truly do miss about being down on the field as this baseball season unfolds. Yeah, the players. I really do miss the players because we had such a wonderful relationship and an interaction of so many things. We discussed so many things that were personal mm -hmm. that helped not only me, but helped them. Right. And that's what I really miss because it is a different generation of young people. Oh, yeah. And I do miss that about them. So when I said hell no, it was for <laughs> a limited amount of things. Right. Particularly the parents. <laughs> Come this, and get me. <laughs> this week, Coach, the uh, executive director of the Louisiana High School Athletic Association, Eddie Bonine, penned an open letter to parents and fans asking them to be fans, not fanatics, <laughs> after uh, a series of fights at basketball games in our state caused some problems. Can you say enough about how important it is that we as parents and adults set the correct example in the stands of events? I didn't know you had that on there when I said about the parents. Mm -hmm. You know, parents have not made it very pleasant for coaches and the experience that kids are enjoying that athletic competition brings. Yep. I think athletic competition is so beautiful and it brings uh, a, a great deal to the community. Right. It brings the community, it brings mm -hmm. them together. When parents get involved, it separates them because it's all about them and their kids. Yep. When the kids think it's about the community and their teammates. Yeah, and how tough is it then for coaches and administrators to try and teach sportsmanship when the players don't see it from us. That's right, because they look at their parents and they don't see sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a connection when you have a parent, you connect it to them first yep. before you do anything else. And that's why it's so important to separate yourself, trust in the coaches, trust in the system, that your kid is gonna have a good experience and it'll be good for the community. 
That's also uh, Eddie Bonine, executive director of Bonine, said is why we're having problems finding and keeping qualified officials. If you had not coached, would you have ever considered being an official? Probably not because if I make a call that someone don't disagree with right. and they want to do harm to me, why would I put myself in that situation? Mm -hmm. Those people have families that they have to take care of yeah. and go back to at night. Right. On, on another note, the uh, sports publication 24-7 Sports has named LSU as the top recruiting class in the country in football for 2020, even beating out Alabama. That says a lot about what your boy Bebe has been able to accomplish both in our state and out of our state, Coach. Bebe, remember, it's only on paper. Just wait. <laughs> Tell the false start and the fans. Right. Bebe, try to win all the games because they'll say, you're not a good coach if the players don't produce. Yeah. When you were playing college ball, did you ever envision college athletics and the recruiting process becoming this competitive? Never could imagine. It was so easy when I came through and it was healthy right. and harmonious. I think it was a good thing the way we all were recruited and things happened back then. With what it has become now, good for the game, bad for the game, or does it all kind of even out in the wash? Well, I think for the hype is good because the hype has to be there mm -hmm. to get people to pay the money. Right. And really, that's really what it's all about. Oh, yeah. The Benjamin. Yeah. You know, so the hype has to exist and people spend the money, so there it is. You just wonder sometimes if we're putting undue pressure on young men who have yet to play one down, throw one ball, or catch one pass. But I guess if we all stick around, we'll find out soon enough. When we come back, we'll wrap up this week's edition I of the Roger Kador Show. Stay with us. <laughs> he wants to eat. <laughs> Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Dr. Ashley Blanche, chiropractic physician at Momentum Chiropractic and Sports Rehab. We are here to get you better faster if you suffer from any type of injury ranging from sprain and strain injuries to nerve pain. If you have an injury and you have a question about it or want us to evaluate you, please give us a call at 225-218-6126 or you can visit our website mymomentumcare.com for more information about our services. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to imagine your parks, and you imagine big. Twelve beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Brett.org and see how together we have made Brett better than imagined. Hi, for many years I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently, I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Welcome back.
back for our final segment of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show, brought to you from Scoreboards Sports Grill at 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Baton Rouge's newest sports grill. Oh, talk about killer. The wings, the pasta, the blackened shrimp pasta, the whole nine, the sliders, the side, you name it. It's all good food. I mean, after all, it's South Louisiana. What else is it going to be but good food? Come on by and check them out. They'd love to have you here. And, of course, on Tuesdays, come be a part of the live audience as we record the Roger Cador Show. Coach over across town, Jaguar basketball team still trying to find a rhythm, still got a chance to land a berth in the postseason tournament for the SWAC. As tough a year as this has been for them, it would be pretty big for them to get that final spot. Wouldn't well, it? I think it would be. It would say, say a lot. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean the end of the world. Right. What we have to f figure out and understand is that things like that does happen when oh, yeah. you bring in a new coach uh -huh. with new players and he try to bring in his own player. Right. Give him a chance to put his players in place and mm -hmm. see what happens. Just like what is happening with uh, Coach Jackson in baseball. Right. <laughs> He's finally getting a chance to bring in his players. Mm -hmm. And the thing that Coach Jackson has been able to do that was not in place when we were coaching the last four or five years right. is to bring in junior college players. Yeah, That's the key. Uh -huh. You cannot just come and win with high school players. Right. And he's been able to get junior college players who are not producing for him. Mm -hmm. He's going to be all right if people just continue to believe in him. The Lady Jags basketball team, on the other hand, continues to play solid football, look, uh, basketball. Looks like uh, Sandy Pugh left the program in pretty good shape for Coach Funches. Well, Coach Funches was a part of the program. Uh -huh. you got to understand, Coach Pugh left, but Funches understood the system, understood right. the system uh -huh. and he kept it moving forward. Mm -hmm. I think that is huge when you have a, trans, uh, just a transition in the program. On, on another note, I grew up in a bowling household, and uh, I love the sport, still bowl a lot to, to this day. A lot of folks may not realize Southern has a women's bowling program. Shouldn't we start going online and, and looking at some of the minor programs and getting out and supporting them? I really agree. All of the programs need to be supported mm -hmm. because they're needed, because they bring add an added value to the university. That's right. Anytime somebody go out and represent the university, something good is going to happen in most cases. And as coaches also always find the saying, Southern belongs to the community. If we're not going to support it, then who will? On behalf of the coach and the crew, I'm Clarence Bugs. We'll see you next week with another exciting edition of the Roger Cador Show. We'll see you then.